Hey Gemini, this is your reading for the end of September 2020. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So in this reading, I'm going to get started with doing some channeled messages I got for you, and then we will get a look at your general energy for the end of this month, and then I'll do two separate readings, one for your career or work situation, and one for your love life. So let's start with the channeled messages that I was getting for you, uh, Gemini. So first off, I was getting the sense that some things may feel out of order or you could be struggling with getting things into order. Um, things could also at times feel like they're falling apart for you, Gemini. And then I also had a crow poop on me right before your reading. So you could be receiving signs from spirit or you could be seeing crows a lot and that may be significant in your life. And then we'll also go ahead and just take the good old wives tale that having a bird poop on you is good luck. So I really like that one, Gemini. I think that in the end of September, you're going to find yourself being really lucky. So let's go ahead and get a card for your general energy. Okay, so we have the shaman, and I'm actually going to read this one to you from the book because they are very poetically written, and I think that that can give you some insight, Gemini. So the shaman, the magi, the sorcerer, the medicine woman. Three archetypal ingredients constitute the shaman, and all must be present in order to reveal its magic. First, the shaman is activated by long-standing and diligent study. Second, its orientation is generously and accurately aimed towards the healing of the self, the other, and the culture. And third, the shaman has a knack for finding doorways to the other world, allowing psychic visions and old magic to leak into this world. In this way, the shaman is a master who bridges the everyday and the sacred, revealing potent power needed desperately in our time. Yet where there is power, there is a shadow, so the shaman must be vigilant in studying their darkness. This card reminds us that the force of healing is ultimately not our own. We must shape it and share it with the world. So it came out kind of sideways like this, so I'll read you both sides of it, the light side and the shadow side. So the light side of the shaman is fearlessness, uh, student and practitioner. So there is a theme here about a mentor and mentee situation. And then the shadow side is over promises, blames, hurt self and others. So you may be finding in your energy in the end of September, I'm really resonating strongly with this over promising and that could have things feeling a little bit out of order for you. So that's going to be your general energy, uh, Gemini, and then we'll take a closer look at your career situation now. So it seems like you could be doing some shadow work in the end of September, and if that is something you do, that could be helpful for you on your path, Gemini. So for this reading, I'm going to take reversals as just meaning that this is something that could be challenging for you in the end of the month. And then when the card is upright, I take that as an affirmation from spirit that this is something that's working well for you or something you've been doing that is uh, good and commendable and helping you forward on your path. So for reversals, just means it could be something that's a challenge, doesn't necessarily mean that it's negative. It's just to make you aware so that you can be prepared for whatever comes up in your life, Gemini. So you got this card of Aquamarine, which did come up reversed. And also with these uh, crystal cards, I don't intend it to be that you need to buy this crystal for it to be helpful to you. I mean, you certainly can if you are a crystal person and you don't have an aquamarine, um, but more I'm just using these cards for the information within them. 
So it says the people who need it are those who run hot, fire signs, anyone hanging on to an unspoken burning desire. So Gemini, you could be dealing with a fire sign at work in the end of September, or you could also have fire in your chart. And so it says that uh, you may need to turn a whisper into a primal scream, or if that's a little overly dramatic, whenever you want to speak clearly and calmly from the heart, you can use aqu aquamarine. So it says keep your cool. So in the end of September, Gemini, it looks like there could be a challenge for you at work, something that might make you a little angry, or it could be that this fire sign that you have around you could be a little aggressive or angry about something at work. So let's get a few more cards and see a little bit more about this situation. So out first, you got this sadness and isolation, which again, it came out sideways. So, you know, we'll just take it as this could be a challenge, but also could be something that's useful to you. So if you are encountering someone at work or a work situation that's really heating up, it looks like it's going to come to a head, maybe an argument or something like that, or you feel like just leaving the job altogether kind of in this moment of passion, it looks like maybe taking some time out to isolate a little bit could be good because as the aquamarine card states, you know, to keep your cool. So you might just need to like take a moment so you don't totally blow up on somebody. Um, and then the other way this could be taken is that possibly someone else at work could be feeling sad and isolated or also you know, taking this shaman card into account, it could be that you are more in a management or leadership type role at work. And maybe you are struggling with some of your employees or clients or someone that you work with. And it could be that the person who is, you know, could be kind of causing some drama or just not working to the best of their abilities. It could be that they're feeling like ignored or not being given enough like training or attention that they need to succeed and then we have a number nine. Oh yeah so sadness and isolation is a number three and then we have rest and reconsider and that's a number nine and it's in the reverse so it seems like maybe you aren't taking enough time to rest uh, in your work Gemini, which could be causing you to feel a little burnt out. It could cause you to feel like snapping at other people. Um, or it could just be that like work is really increasing and you're feeling just kind of like over encumbered or that there's too much to do. Um, and that it's not leaving you a lot of time maybe for your family or personal life. So I'm going to get another card just to get a little more clarity on this situation for you, Gemini. So we have a number 20, that's look ahead. 42, that says direction, navigation, guidance, and signs. So just with these two right away, um, so you may be looking ahead. You're kind of could be over this job or this career that you have. And this is a really powerful card because, uh, it's a visionary planning preparation. So when you're preparing to leave a job, you can kind of be like in this space all together. And so the people that you work with may notice that and notice that you may be acting like a little differently or that you're just like your whole heart isn't in the work. And so maybe that's beginning to be noticed. However, it is in the upright. And so that's good for you to be uh, planning your next moves here, or perhaps you are applying for jobs that you feel is going to make you feel more in your power. So then you have direction, which did come out reversed. And so it kind of harkens back to this number three here, the sadness and isolation. If you're thinking about leaving a job or a career, it could be that you just felt directionless there. Or maybe you like the job, you like the field, but it just turned out that the leadership or management there wasn't giving you the attention and training that you felt that you needed. And maybe you feel that 
you know, it's kind of like a dead end job. You know, you might have had big hopes for it and that this was going to really help you to succeed and kind of climb higher and higher. But so maybe it was kind of like a bait and switch situation here for you, Gemini, because it doesn't look like you're look like you're feeling like that's really going to get you somewhere staying in this position. It could also signify that this is, um, like I said in the beginning, that you could be receiving signs from spirit about what to do in your career situation right now, but perhaps you're not seeing those clearly. So I would just suggest to look out for signs, especially in nature, that could help you with how to proceed with your plans at this time. Whether that's leaving a job or you're dealing with an employee who might want to leave a job if you want them to stay, um, you know, it could have to do something with guidance or training. So then we also have Serenity, which is also reversed. It's a number 37. It says compassion, acceptance, and contentment. So somebody's feeling unhappy here. Um, somebody's also feeling like people are less than compassionate to them at work or that they work with. And maybe you could also feel that you are not being accepted for who you are. And so for the remainder of these cards, because there's still a few to go, just know that this could be, these, this role could be um, for someone else if you're not resonating with this, especially if you are in a higher position in your company, um, that this could be speaking about somebody that you're dealing with at work, that if you're struggling with them, this could be an insight to where their attitude is coming from. It could also be that, like I said previous, that you aren't feeling like you have enough time between work and everything else to have your own personal space, your own personal life, your own space to heal and just to be like relaxed, not having anything to do. Um, it just seems like you could be really busy at this time. So uh, community and number 34, contribute, communication, and tribe. So this is in the upright. And so there is this um, honeycomb on this person's head. And so that's a really strong indicator that this could be like a large organization that you are working for, or even if your, you know, like store or wherever you work isn't really that large, it seems like it's part of a larger company. So uh, this is in the upright. So this is an affirmation for you from spirit that uh, community is something to be valued and something that is important. So it could be that there is community out there for you, Gemini, that can help you through this time. Or it could be that spirit is encouraging you to keep having good and open communication if you would like to solve this problem here that's going on or solve this challenge. If you aren't totally sold on like leaving the job or something, then then something that could help to rectify this or make this a more serene and accepting situation is to have open communication with the people that you work with. It could also indicate if you're the worker dealing with some management and you disagree with some things, it could mean that this would be a wise time to go to upper management, that, you know, your one manager isn't running the whole show. And so if you've already tried to work this out with them, you've had good and open communication and you've followed the chain of command and things still are getting worse or not resolving, then this could be your way to rectify that by having communication with someone else in the company or the organization. It also says contribute. So there might be something at work that you could consider contributing to that's going to help your circumstances. So we have Alliance reversed and there's this little fox here. So there could be some trickery, some gossip, some kind of clicky nature going on here, or maybe somebody that you work with or you yourself is feeling like they've been betrayed by someone. Maybe it's a number four and it says connections, unity, creative solutions. So for some reason, this is like really resonating for me for somebody who might have a lot of employees under them or like run some kind of retail store or something like that, there can be this like breakdown that happens in a group, especially when like the ringleader is decided, you know, we're not doing things the way that uh, management wants us to. And so while you can be a good and um, 
a good leader, like the shaman said, uh, somebody who's a mentor, when you have this like click thing going on, that can really throw a wrench in things. And then people kind of don't know who to trust or who to follow. So I'm just sensing that that could be something that is in this work situation for you, Gemini. Um, and at the very least, uh, at least someone in this situation, if not you, is feeling there is a lack of unity. There's a lack of creative solutions to get out of this. I'm really sensing that strongly. It's like the person who resonates with this is feeling like there's no solution except for just to leave it behind. Um, so then we also have waiting, alertness, preparation, and watchfulness. So it could be that you've put in some applications uh, somewhere else and you're just like waiting for somebody to respond because you don't really want to leave this job before you have something else lined up. Um, so, but like I said in the beginning, it does seem that somebody, if this is you, it seems like somebody might kind of be getting the picture that this is happening. Or it could even be like that everybody's thinking about mutinying the ship at once. So anyway, um, so yeah, you're just watching, preparing for the next steps because you feel that there's no way out of this except for just to leave. And in the end, we have a number 10, which is imagination, conjure, dreams, and create. And see, like, this person, she kind of has this strange look on her face. I don't think it's meant to be that way, but she's, like, looks a little side eye to me. And she's, like, side eyeing this waiting thing. So I really think that if you are the employee who is thinking about leaving a company or an orga organization, you may feel that nobody else knows your plan, but I think somebody does know your plan. And it could be that someone that you have an alliance with went and told somebody something. So, you know, there's two people watching here. Like, you're watching out for your next opportunity, and they're watching out like, uh, what are you doing, and when are you going to do this, and are you planning on giving me a lot of notice or just up and leaving? So just to be aware in this situation, Gemini, whether you're the leader, the manager, or you are the employee, I just think there's more out there than you know that people happen to know all of a sudden about your plans. So I think that Spirit is telling you this just because they don't want you to miss an opportunity here if if there is a creative solution, because it kind of seems like there is. Like this, you know, reversed would say that the creative solution is going to be hard to reach, but it doesn't say that it's not there. And then with imagination, like with enough imagination, enough creativity, um, if you're somebody that uses the laws of attraction with, with all that combined, it seems like this situation could be rectified. And I don't really see spirit indicating either way if you should leave or you should stay. It's just that you should be aware of just how much is going into this situation. It's not just going to be like sprung on somebody, obviously. There's just like a lot going on there. And just to caution you to think about all the people involved, because like I said, it does seem like it's a big community, a big organization, and how that affects people. And, you know, I think Spirit here is just advising you to do what's right, like in terms of your ethics or your morals, which I don't know what those are, but this does seem to be the point here. So, Gemini, that is what I have going on for your work and career situation at the end of September. Kind of a lot of drama there, uh, but it was an interesting read. So, let me get this all squared away, and then we will take a look at your love life. Okay, Spirit, what can you tell me for Gemini's love life? What do they need to know in the end of September, please? Okay, so we have Dragonfly Spirit, which is the number 22. It says, Truth Transcends Illusions. 21, Dove Spirit Be at Peace. So 22, 21... And then we have a number 50 here, which is Rhino Spirit, and it says overcome any obstacles, and that is in reverse. So overcoming obstacles is going to be a challenge in your love life in the end of September, Gemini. However, it seems like there's some really good things going on for you in your love life, um, especially if you can see things clearly, just take the drama out of things, and also recognize that if you 
resonated with the first portion of this reading for career, it seems like there's a lot going on there in your life. So if that is bleeding in and affecting your love life, it could be healthy just to recognize that. Like I have a lot going on and it might be making me, um, you know, like we said in the beginning, like, like fiery or hot or, you know, agitated or easily frustrated. So just seeing your life clearly, seeing all the parts, the moving parts and the things that are going on can help you to be at peace with any situation and be at peace with whatever is taking place in your love life. So I'm going to get some healing cards and see what else we can get about this Gemini. So again, you have the sadness and isolation that's coming out. So perhaps you are feeling alone. You could be single. And then rest and reconsider again. I guess I did not shuffle well enough, but also it could just be that this is a running theme in the end of September for you. So we have moving on. Yeah, so I think Gemini, you've gone through a breakup or are, you know, like on the precipice of a breakup. I think it probably already happened. And and in conjunction with the work stuff, if you're feeling isolated and alone there too, and, you know, feeling like you just don't have enough time for your personal life or your love life, then I'm seeing this as a confirmation that that is true. Something in your work life is affecting your love life. And so... I guess, you know, spirit here is trying to give you an indication about the direction you should go in to move forward, depending on where your priorities lie. So if the sadness and isolation is starting with being single or having a lack of love life or having a lack of time to spend with a significant other, then perhaps that job or that position as it is, isn't currently working for you because really nothing there that could happen could make you happy since some of your happiness is dependent on your love life. So you're just being asked to see uh, the truth of your romantic situation. Like what, if you did just go through a breakup, what really led to the breakdown in this relationship? Um, you might be kind of putting some more things into it that really weren't the sole cause of the breakup or the sole cause of being single. Um, so with the moving on reversed, perhaps you are just struggling right now with accepting that someone has moved on, that someone wanted to leave. And then throat chakra is also reversed. So it could be that you're feeling like you need to say something to this person, or maybe the breakup was because you didn't have enough time to talk or to connect, which also really resonates with the beginning of this reading as well, because, um, oh, it didn't actually. I was thinking back to the Sagittarius reading. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart, you could go check out that video too, because it has a lot to do with the throat chakra. So anyway, back to your reading, Gemini, with the throat chakra coming out, I'm really just feeling like maybe you don't have the energy when you come home from work to talk with your loved one or your romantic partner. And there could have just been some things that were left unsaid you feel in this relationship. So you could be really reminiscing on what's gone down and just, you know, all the things you didn't say. So then we have a number two here, refusing to see. So someone in this situation, possibly a masculine, is refusing to see uh, that truth transcends illusion. And then it looks like the feminine energy was observing this masculine energy. So it seems that there was just like a big uh, rift between the two of you on what's real and what's not and what was causing the problems and what wasn't. Perhaps, Gemini, you're feeling like unfairly blamed for the breakdown of this relationship when really you could have used some compassion from the other person to see all the things that are on your plate and how hard it is for you to find time to be with them or to nurture them the way that they want. So with this observe process and the throat chakra, since the throat chakra did seem like somebody wants to say something, I feel that the message is from spirit Gemini that 
someone is thinking about reaching out to you, perhaps the masculine, and maybe you were the one that broke up with them, Gemini, and they're the ones feeling like something was left unsaid and they're thinking really hard about reaching out to you and ending this non-communication, but there's a block here. Like they're just thinking about it at this time and you are just observing what they are doing. You might be, if you are the feminine energy in this relationship, you might be observing what they're doing with other women. Like, are they moving on? Because there's a lot of women in this card, you know, um, and just seeing because that might be dependent, like you getting back together might be dependent on how this person acts now. And at this time, it seems like they're pretty stagnant and stuck in the way things were in the past. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I'm wishing you the best in your end of September and early October. If you enjoyed this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.